see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Right around the 20. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Out of bounds, right around the 28-yard line. That makes it 37. Quick throw, a gain of one. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. The Bulldogs and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tackled. Throws into coverage, just picked off. To the 10. Touchdown, huge play. Tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. Complete, right down, nothing doing. That makes it second and ten. Fires out to his receiver, and he tackles him hard at the 42. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want them. Mike two, Mike two. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. You're not going to be able to get by a sure tackler like this linebacker too often. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Gain of five on the play. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike, two. Watch the ship. Watch the ship. Look for his tight end over the middle. Tackle made around the 46 yard line. The offense gets a first down here. you got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on the quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense to ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. the ground and he won't get back to the line. They go back to him on a quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. That brings us second and nine. Check, check, green 90. Stand right. Green 90. He 
makes it to the 32-yard line. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. The punt goes out of bounds at the four-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. Arizona State is up by a touchdown. Orange three. Nice run, and he's brought down. He's to the 20. He gets to about the 27 yard line. Very well designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Kill, kill, kill. He's tackled right around the 32-yard line. Fires out to his wide end. He's taken down at the 37. Defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. That makes it fourth and four. Arizona State is up a score. Booming kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Arizona State's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their mind. They just need to go out there and play. It's a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That's a nice run, but it's short of the first down. Good play by the defense to stop him just short. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. 7-0, Sun Devil. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Tackle at the 34. Oh, 
In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brought down around the 34-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Arizona State up seven points. Side run and he's hit hard. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Complete. He's got room. tackle in space. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Strike to his receiver, no good. From the 34-yard line, second down. Here's a quick throw, and he's taken down at about the 15-yard line. around the 16-yard line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From the 16-yard line, second down. Arizona State is up seven. Here he goes. The 10. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. He makes the PAT, a 10-play, 66-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 14-0. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before happening. Loose football. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. He gets out to about the 25-yard line, and that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And they make the stop at about the 33-yard line. They'll 
wrestle him down in the backfield. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. Excellent punt. He fields the punt at the 16, and down he goes at the 30-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Yellow, black three, five, black five, yellow, three. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Number four, the intended receiver the way. From their own 35-yard line. Third down. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. Mississippi State's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. That'll make it second and four. And he's immediately tackled. That makes it first and ten. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Four down, four down. Check number six. Check number six. And down he goes, right around the 34. That takes a poised quarterback to stand in there and make a throw while two defensive backs are barreling towards him. That poise allowed them to pick up a huge gain. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. I don't know if he play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. From the 15-yard line, first down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Set. Mississippi State will have one timeout remaining. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Here we go. Check, check. Tiger. Now he tries to buy some time. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. He hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Arizona State is up by a touchdown. 
Quick strike, and he drops it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike's 50, Three, nine, but I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Fumble. Gives it up the gut. And the defense picks it up. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Mississippi State. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Well, let's see if the offense can make up for the misfortune they had just a few moments ago. Well, it's very important that this offense forget about the last time they were out on the field where they made that mistake and gave up the lead. They got to get back to basics here, try to reestablish their offensive rhythm. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. They get him in the backfield for a loss. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. So we've played two quarters. We're deadlocked right now at 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nestler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Quick strike to the receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Watch two. Watch two. He passes it. And this one falls incomplete. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and 10. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. And he throws it away. So it's second and ten. 
Ball on the 42-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Gets out to about the 44-yard line. First down. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. That's a great tackle at the 35-yard line. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's a He might have a chance. And he hits him hard at the 16-yard line. They pick up seven or eight yards on the option. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Gets it, he's in space. And he is drilled at the 13. Number 11 makes the set call at the 13 yard line. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. That makes it first and 10. Run, Chuck! Run! Six Tiger! Run! Runs outside for a nice game. That's good for a game. That makes it six and six. Nice run there. Makes the tackle. Gaining four yards. Third down. Defense, let's go. Mike two. Mike two. Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football, or check it down, or take off and run with it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on downs. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And he's tackled at the four. They'll drop him for a loss. taken down around the seven yard line and that was a nice stretch for the d there yeah they really cranked it up a notch on that series the punting team's got to give their kickers some time and this one is a beauty and he's taken down at the 48 he showed a good burst there time's getting a little bit tighter now you got to make every possession count. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 46 yard line. That makes it second and eight. And 
he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. And he's going to be sacked. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those, as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. From the 15. Oh, what a hit. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Sack him. The pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He tackles him for a loss. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 48-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle at the 44. That's good for a game of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Mike 40, Mike 40. Run, Chuck, Whitey! Nice run, and he's brought down. With the run. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. Hey, go on, Mike 40, Mike 40. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's good for gaining nine yards. That'll make it very long. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And now he's got room to run. And he tackles him hard at the 20. First down. And he's taken down at the 22 yard line. From the 22-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Here's the eighth play of the series. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. 
So it's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it's good. And with that, all the pressure now shifts back to the other side. That's what a good kicker can do. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Tackle that for decent pickup. That's a game of four. That'll make it 39. Kill, kill! Green two! Watch the shift! Wants to go long and does. Interception. He steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. From their own 32-yard line. First down. Mississippi State holds a field goal lead. Zips it to the back. And down he goes at the 38. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Here we go! Nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Set, check, And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 45-yard line, second down. Ryan, 68. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. He's out of bounds at the 42-yard line. First down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they make the stop right around the 32-yard line. That's a deal of 10 in the That brings up second and nine. Green 90. Hammerhead. Green Hammerhead. Hot! 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 Check, check! Spider! Spider! He gets rid of this one. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's gobbled up in the backfield. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. The 
The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Quick pass. Going long. Got it to the senior. Brought down right around the 18-yard line. Just over a minute left. And he's hit immediately. He's wrapped up for the sack. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the 13. You don't want it. You don't want none of it. Pick up the ball. Mike's 50. Mike's 10, 2, 3, 9. Run play and he'll lose yards. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. Arizona State will take their first time out of the half. Fires it out. He's pushed out of bounds at the seven yard line. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. And this is the ball game right here. And he's level at the five-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? This see who's got the most leadership. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. Second down. Defense will be digging in here as they're inside their own five. We have less than a minute to go. And they get nice yardage on that run. Arizona State's called their final timeout. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. one off and it's a beauty little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20 and this one's all but wrapped up the Bulldogs get the win 20 to 14 that's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.